Well, hello friends. I thought since today is the first day of me going back to my regular bus run for the year, we would get started out right and I would hop on here and show you how I love getting my week started. Yes, it's Tuesday, but yesterday was just a busy day with the in-service and other things going on. And I went, I'm hoping this year to have more time for my videos and I don't want them all to be about cash stuffing because our lives encompass so much more than just budgeting and cash stuffing. Some of you might like that. Some of you may hate it. If that's not what you're into, feel free not to watch this video and only watch my cash stuffing videos. But for me, I enjoy watching people that encompass everything in their lives, not just one area. So with that being said, we're gonna take a look at my planner. I use the She's In Her Apron Planner, which I have gotten way behind on during the summer months and I need to get started doing it right again. So let's take a look. Okay, so I have it opened up to one of the monthly views. This calendar has two monthly views and I'm gonna try to get the stickers up because I put these down a while back and the, oh, they are planner case, so they should come up. I love planner case stickers, you guys because now my weigh-ins are on Sundays and that's when I'm supposed to do my health and more in 24 update, which I also have been behind on. If you didn't see yesterday's video, I found a lady on YouTube accidentally, because I was looking for um, car camping videos that had a great health plan that I loved or eating plan. And I'm not saying I'm going to do it 100%, but the things that she does is basically what I enjoy doing. Um, you can see at the top, I've written out my health and more ladies and weigh-ins will be on. And yes, we're already, you know, down here, but that's okay. We're just getting started. And You've probably seen it, but it's been a long time ago. This is where I keep all my stickers. I used to have, I might as well tell you, you guys, these these uh, videos like this one, I'm hoping to do like a daily chit chat. May not be daily, but whenever I get the time, uh, are gonna be a lot of chit chat, because I wanna chit chat with you guys. But uh, this is mostly all Planner's Kate stickers, and I used to have a whole side table. I used to be what I would call an extreme decorative planner. So I'm looking for home here. Here it is. And we should have, this stuff is probably all out of order and all a mess, because I haven't used it properly in a while. But that's okay, we're gonna get it done. Crash day is today, so we've already got that out. We need the call. Uh, I need to see, I think we're in zone four. So I need to see what that is, but I'm looking for my zone stickers. And I don't know if I'll replace all of these when I run out of them. Well, I've got a call on my finger. Up oh, the frog. <laughs> Have you all ever heard of that book? book? Um, to eat the frog. <laughs> the frog is what you've been dreading all week. It's kind of like a procrastination thing. So you just go ahead and eat the frog and get it over with. Okay, let me move this to the side. I'm gonna stick my call sticker over there. But how you set up your zones in your monthly view is the very first, let's see, we've got some yellow going on here, so let's use yellow. The very first week is your zone one. So it's usually just a partial week. Zone two is your first absolutely full week in the month. Then you just go on down three, four, and then the five is the last bit of the week or the month. There we go. Uh oh I made a mess of that. That's okay. 
We'll leave it that way, right? So, we are in zone four. Let's take a look and see what that is. Bedrooms and closets. All right. So, we're getting, getting something done here. Now, these monthly pages are where I put my weekly check-in, or I'm supposed to, which I am also behind on. But... Hopefully, we'll start getting caught up now that things have slowed down a bit. Budgets. Want, oh, here. I got my thing in there. So, what I want to do is go over, and we are in zone four. And I'm just going to write zone four. And I do have all the stickers. Today was trash day. We've already done that, but I've got to check and make sure all the trash cans are clean. I don't have any plants anymore. I'm trying to, okay, here we go, bedroom and closets. So that's what we're on. And when you're a decorative planner, you love stickers. Now, I used to put the frog on Wednesdays, and that was my Anna Procrastination Day. I'm not gonna fool with that this week. What I am gonna do is pull out this little thing that I love. Let me get back in there. And I like to make my video schedule over here. I like to, you'll hear my washer in there. I think it's about to bite the dust, but that's okay. It's not okay, but there ain't much I can do about it. If you hear it clicking over there. So I like to put seven rings here. And then I put, and this is a friction pen, erasable. If any of you are interested, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Sunday is health and more. 24. Uh, today, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to put these little skits in, in the um, daily things. Because they will just happen when I have time for them to happen. Just kind of a vlog to show you what's going on in my day. So today we're doing a vlog. I guess I could just write vlog. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, that just means a video log. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be our cash stuffing. So I'm hoping to get everything together for that and get caught up, you guys. I am behind weeks, weeks on that. And Friday, I like to do Etsy shop drops. So hopefully, hopefully, if I can spell, we'll get that done. And you'll see I already have school starts here. Scarlett's birthday's today. Yay, my baby girl turned 12 and had to start middle school. Take a look at Miss Scarlett. had in service yesterday and I don't have a lot going on this week. Not a lot at all. My best friend's birthday is Friday. So my to call, I like to put it right down here if I need to call anyone. I can just make a note here. Uh, this is gonna be our menu plans and what we need to do in our morning routines. And it has been so long, you guys, since I have filled these out. Oh my gosh, I've got so behind on this stuff. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to redo them or keep them the same as they were. Okay, dress to shoes. I'll speed you through this part. Well, no, I won't because some of you may be new and don't know what that means. That just means you get up and get yourself presentable each day. Swish and swipe is your bathroom. 
and this falls back to the fly lady routines if you don't know who fly lady is go check her out she is amazing we're going to be decluttering in our zone 15 minutes we're going to run the dishwasher we run it of the night time right when we go to bed and we unload it of the morning one load of laundry you hear it going already we usually have more than that because i do campground laundry uh what's for dinner yes we need to work on that because i have no idea yet okay we've got those filled out now you see this last one i'm well i don't know i just opened it up i dropped weight watchers and we're gonna do lulu's way that's the lady, and I think she spells it L-U. Hold on. I think I'm spelling it wrong here. We have a Lulu at the campground, and her she spells hers L-O-U. So this Lulu spells hers L-U-L-U. -L -U, Lulu's way. And if I manage to do it perfectly, I will fill in the dot. Uh, I still do like the intermittent fasting with it. 16-8. Uh... Exercise 5,000 steps. It's not a lot for some people, but for me and my arthritis, it's pretty good. And planner time. I had that on there. I don't think I need that right now. Oh, we need to look and see what our habits are for August. We didn't look at that. Let's take a look. So, Fly Lady has a habit each month. August is laundry. So, you're supposed to work on your laundry habit. Okay. And since it is, we're going to work on bedrooms and closets. I'm not going to put a lot of detailed things here. I'm mostly every day going to concentrate on continuing to declutter. So and just the regular cleaning, but decluttering. Now that it's the beginning of the school year is a huge thing for me. I wanna get everything in this home decluttered good again before the first of the year. So we're just gonna work on decluttering. And look at this, y'all. I've got free time. I don't know what to do with myself. I've got free time. Oh my gosh. It's like amazing. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Okay. Hubby is doing a, a dozer job, so he's not home even. And, you know, when he's not home, I really have free time. Uh, we do have camper, campers coming in, so we'll be running the grub shack this weekend. When we run the grub shack, that's the food we eat. So I don't cook here at the house. I cook over there. So I just need to come up with meals for these four days. And I know I've got some chicken and we haven't had chicken in a while. So I'm just putting our main course. And with that, we'll have salads, veggies, whatever. So tomorrow, let's have some pork. I know I have pork in the freezer. I would know I've got some ribs and stuff. And I know I've got a lot of seafood. So I'm gonna do a seafood Wednesday. And what are we missing? I've got a little bit of everything in the freezer. Chicken, pork, seafood, beef. We're missing something beef. So we're just going to do something beef. And I'm going to go in there and pick one of these each day and thaw it out for the next day. The chicken will have to thaw out quickly today for this evening. Now, along with Lulu's plan, I'm going to try to just have my six ounces of this meat and have it with my vegetable uh, what was it called normandy that i got at sam's club uh probably eight ounces of that if you haven't ta seen lulu's plan take a look at yesterday's video and check it out now i need to get back onto uh, budgeting real well i've kind of been slacking because well i showed this yesterday i'm going to show it again today take a look at this
that is my complete mindset, you all, on money right now. I want to pay off my debt. Um, let's see, I've got it here. I want to be debt free, which I've changed my mind on the date. That is the date I can retire, December 31st, 2026. I will be 58, getting ready to turn 59, like within a few days. But I will probably go ahead and work until 61 at least. So that would change that to, is this one erasable? Yes, 29. And why? Because when I am turning, when I'm 61, my husband will be able to get his Medicare, which will free up some extra money for me, not covering as much health insurance for both of us. I'll just have to cover mine until I can get Medicare. So that is the reasoning behind that. So that's probably what I'm going to do. So I want to be debt free by December 31st, 2029. And I don't mind working. I don't mind driving the school bus and all that. So I don't see, you know, if my health changes or something changes, I might, ch well, you know what? I'm in July, for goodness sakes. Oh, so December 31st, 2029. Let's see what that July one said. I didn't have the months on it, so I don't know if that's the correct months. Okay, so we'll fix that later. Have I been doing everything? No, I got these right. I just flipped too far back, I guess. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I've already paid off m most of the bills. This stuff has not changed. This, I never did get around to calling about the CD ladder in July, so I don't have a CD ladder for July. Um, I did get stocks in in July, right? Yeah. I haven't done August. But I've been writing down what I'm making on Etsy. But I haven't been getting it dispersed into the savings challenges. So we got to get caught up on all that. Uh, I do believe I'll continue doing the group plays. I had toyed with the idea of just doing something else for my members, but I do like the group plays. So I do think I'll keep doing that to stuff, and I'll have to go back to July for this because I haven't written them out, to continue stuffing um, these that are in my sinking funds because this is stuff you have to have every year. So I do think I'll continue that. Um, but as far as the channel goes, I do want to encompass more, and I've always said this, into my channel than just budgeting. I want it to be my full-blown life. I'm working toward retirement, getting ready for retirement. I'm working toward traveling more, which is my passion and I love so much. Vicki and I are going to go camping again in October for three nights, I believe it is, three nights, four days, and I'm looking so forward to that. We're planning on hiking, you guys. I don't know if this old girl can hike, but we're going to find out. Uh, and it's cool. we're going to uh, Hawking Hills in Ohio is where we're going. So it's beautiful scenery, some caves. It should be gorgeous. We're taking our kayaks with us. Oh, and our cruise update we have coming up very soon. We're a year away from our cruise now. And so we've got to get that. And one thing I've decided that I need to announce to everyone is um, the campground cruise went so amazing that they wanted to join in and do another cruise next summer. Now, this girl can't afford two cruises a year. So I'm going to combine the two. It's going to be a good time budgeting cruise. So both, both parties the Good Time Campground Crew and the Budgeting Crew can join in on this cruise. And that way we will get, hopefully, more people. Because, honestly, we hadn't had that many budgeters sign up for it. I know it's expensive um, to go on a cruise. Some people just don't like cruising. So that way we will get a good group of folks. Um, 
I'll have that update coming up soon. All right, I'm gonna get off here and get to work now and enjoy my first day back at work and freedom, some free time. All right, see you guys in the next one. And as always, enjoy the journey. Bye.